Here are three of the newest videos uploaded to wingsound.com. Right, we think you really gotta see these videos. They've all been contributed from members just like you who've uploaded their videos onto wingsound.com by building their free profile and contributing their knowledge with the community. New Chop Productions shows us how to create multi-sample instrument racks in Ableton Live. So the first step is to create a blank instrument rack in a new track. And you do this simply by dragging the root folder instrument rack over and it creates a new track automatically and you'll notice that there are, are no instruments loaded in the rack. So if you grab an instance of Simpler and simply drop it in the rack, you'll now see Simpler appear. And if we click the Show High Chain List, you'll see there's the instance I just dropped. And I'm going to be working with four samples. I can quickly just grab other copies of Simpler and drop them in. So now we're going to have a rack with four versions of Simpler. Super Slacuzzi 007 shows us how to create panning and velocity changes in FL Studio. I'm going to open up a sample beat that I have here for this. <coughs> okay, so uh, panning, what that is, is just if you have stereo, sometimes you notice during songs you'll hear an instrument only on the left side or if you like you listen to your headphones you'll only hear an instrument on the left side and you hear them talking on the right side or sometimes they'll switch and go back and forth well that's what panning is and that's panning it from side to side so here I have pattern in pattern 3 I have a um, snare roll that I have and you can see this down here these lines going up this is the velocity and that's how strong it'll hit so you start here and press play and it gradually increases as it gets higher but um... panning you come up here where it says velocity and you just switch it to panning and here I have it to play I think it's the left side play mainly on the left Siege Monstrosity shows us how to add turntable starts and stops in Logic Studio so you want to pay attention to your inspector now you see this part where it says fade in and then fade out that's where you're going to get your record stop effect but you want to click the fade in and change it to speed up you don't want it to fade in, you want it to speed up like a record and then you just click and change it to a number you want preferably however you want it to come in slow really slow or kind of like a speed jump me I want it to creep in so I'm going to give it 3000 okay Thanks for watching. I hope you guys took something away from these tutorials, and if you did, remember to share it with your friends. That's right, and you can also stay on top of everything that's happening with Wingsound by downloading the new and free iPhone app. The Wingsound iPhone app will keep you up to date with the latest video releases coming out of Wingsound Studios, and it'll be right there handy on your phone. Go download it right now for free at the iPhone store. That's right, and remember, for more music production video tutorials like these, visit wingsound.com, the new social video network for audio creators.